I've been playing guitar for about six months. One summer afternoon, I heard a knock on my front door. And it was George Thies, a school friend of mine, who was looking for a guitar player. Now, I could barely call myself a guitar player at 15, but that weekend, I followed him to a little house just one block from the town's road bill. And it was there I embarked on one of the greatest adventures of my life. I joined my first real rock and roll band. And we lasted for three years. Now three years at 15, that's a lifetime for teenagers. It's 1965, 66, 67, an explosive time in American history. An incredible moment to be young to be in a rock band. But if you cut forward, if you cut forward 50 years from that afternoon, on another summer day, I found myself standing at the side of George's deathbed, where George had been in a terrible battle with lung cancer in the last years of his life. And he only had a few days left to live. And I realized that his passing would leave me as the last living member of those guys that got together in that little room all those years ago. Now death brings a certain clarity of thought. It gives us the gift of an expanded vision of, of living itself. And George's death made me realize how important it is to seize the day and that grief grief is just the price that we pay for having loved well this is last night's Pictures in an old scrapbook. Faded pictures that somebody took when you were hard and young and proud. Backed against the wall, running wrong. Snakes getting this and sharks in suit. Cuban heels on your boots. Kicking the band side by side They take the crowd on their mystery Knights of Columbus and the Fireman's Ball Friday night at the Union Hall Black leather clubs all along the night Count the names of the missing as you count all the time Rock of ages lift me somehow Somewhere high and hard and wild Somewhere deep into the heart of the crowd Oh, last man stay Guitar and have one last 
Crowd. I'm blessed to stay. 